Hey guys, I hope you're all well and safe. It is Jack from Tech Fusions here, and today in this video, we are taking a look at the Ember Mug two years later. So, let's see how it stacks up in 2020. So for anyone who likes their coffee or tea at a specific temperature, then the Ember Mug may be for you. So the Ember Mug is a travel mug that is designed to hold your drink at your preferred temperature. This is great if you are one of these people who do not like your coffee too hot, but equally do not like your coffee when it is too cold. Firstly, to turn on the Ember Mug, one thing you can do is just hold the Ember Mug for a few seconds and it will turn on. So once you have turned on the Ember Mug, it actually pairs really well to the Ember app and this will connect to it very quickly once you've already done it prior. So the Ember app is actually pretty great. Once you go on it, you actually have the option to select certain presets. So for example, if you like your coffee or tea at a certain temperature, you can then set it to that temperature. I am not an expert on tea or coffee, but one thing that is quite nice about it is that you can then get the specific flavors that come out of the coffee or tea. The travel mug actually pairs so well with the app and I think this is one real strong point of using the travel mug. One example of this is when it has reached its desired temperature or the temperature you have set your coffee or tea to be, you actually get a notification on your phone or your watch device which will tell you that your coffee or tea has reached what it is called the perfect temperature. This is something that I think is a really nice addition to the cup and I quite like having that kind of ping, that notification to know that your tea is ready to drink. One thing that I really love about the Emma Mug is it actually remembers your preset from the last time you use it. So what that means is if I do not go onto the app and I pour some coffee in, it actually means that it will then stay or go straight to that temperature that I set it to last time. Something that I think is pretty cool, little feature there from Ember. The Ember Mug also has a well-rounded lid and you can drink it from a 360 degree angle. This is something that I really like and I have to say it's something that I've never seen from a travel mug before. This actually made it really easy to use and really user friendly and I found the drink didn't cause any mess when drinking, something that is really great and this is something that I have experienced from many travel mugs before, so I have to say this is a really great feature from Ember there. To use the lid you just have to press the top of the lid for it to open and then press it again for the lid to close. I actually noticed that the Emma mug didn't spill once since I've been using it. I have to say that is something that is really great about it. It is, to me anyway, it seemed quite spill proof. Again, if anyone's used it and they've had different experiences, let us know in the comments down below. But since I've been using it, I've never had any problems with it spilling. That means you're able to put it in your bag or pretty much anywhere really, which is something that's a real, real plus. As somebody who commutes quite often to work, I have to say I really did try and put it to its test in terms of the commuter as somebody who uses a travel mug. Now, the battery of the Ember mug actually lasts for about two hours and I think in a way that's quite good, but then in another sense, what if you have a longer commute? What if you need it for longer than two hours? And I guess that's where the problems kind of come. And I just wish that the battery was a little bit longer. Of course, if you get the newer edition of the Ember Mug, it actually lasts for three hours. So well done Ember there for improving it on the next edition. But for this one, I think having it for only two hours kind of was a, a bit of a negative for me really. But again, I was trying to use it for as long as I could. And I'm very aware that most people probably wouldn't need a drink for more than two hours. So again, that depends on your own individual preference. One thing that I did find is that as soon as the battery kind of started to go down and died, I found that the drink cooled rapidly. And I have to say that was something that for me was quite a downside because then as soon as that two hours is hit, 
then your drink just cools very quickly after. With that said, I have to say when you are using the charger, the Ember mug pretty much lasts all day and that's something that I have to say is really great. As long as you interact with the mug, after two hours if you're not interacting it will automatically switch off. So as long as you are kind of interacting with the travel mug in some way, it will stay hot for pretty much all day as long as it is on the charging dock. So while it is pretty easy to slate the battery and say that is a big downside of this product, it's also worth mentioning that there's not many other travel mugs that can do what this travel mug can, which I have to say is one real big positive of Ember. So in terms of the technology, one of the great things it can do is it can actually heat up your coffee if it is slightly cooler than what you want it to be but on the other hand once you pour it in it actually cools down quite quickly and this is to really get it at your desired temperature i have to say for me this product is quite unique i tested this using coffee and of course being from the uk i had to test it with tea as well and i found it worked really well with both tea and coffee and i felt that for me the temperature was right and i tried it for a long time with both of them and again they really did work pretty well so of course one of the downsides to this emma mug is the price and that is because it is still 135 pounds and that is for the first edition now of course there is a newer edition which is slightly more expensive to that but i think for 135 pounds it's still quite a lot of money but then at the same time with there not being too many other travel mugs like this on the market i have to say the price in a way seems well justified for me i have to say in terms of technology you are getting it is still pretty amazing so one thing you're probably asking is should I buy this Emma mug and I have to say it depends on your own individual preference but in a way I kind of have two answers for this and in one way I say yes the technology inside it is amazing it works really well and if it's something you're really interested in it almost feels like for me the apple of Ember mugs which is why it's so expensive but the technology packed in there is great now I guess one thing you would be thinking though is actually there is a newer version of this and while it's more expensive it gets another hour of battery life that has some a few other features so for me i would say it's worth it but then i would probably recommend going for the newer version if you are going to buy an ember mug and for me that's because it's expensive and it's expensive anyway so i think you may as well just go all out if it's something you are going to buy equally you can get cheaper alternatives on ebay and that's something i would say is worth checking out if you don't want to pay the full 135 pounds or 109 dollars for the first edition for the ember mug with that said, the fact that this product came out two years ago and it still works really well today and I have to say it's something that's really great, so fair play to Ember there. Even now, there's not too many other products like it, particularly in terms of the travel mug sector, so hats off to Ember there. If you felt like you got value from this video, it would be great if you can give the video a thumbs up it really is appreciated and again we appreciate all the support from all of our subscribers so thank you thank you and thank you if of course you are new to our channel we would really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on this was jack from tech fusions thanks for watching see you in the next one